Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, just Tiffany B, and I'm back with another video. As you can tell by the title, I'm very excited to try out these products. <laughs> I've wanted these products for so long, but I'm like, these prices though, these prices though. I'm like, you know what? This is still going on. Let me just go ahead and swoop these up, you know? <laughs> but anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right on into the unboxing. All right, so as you can tell, MAC always is black. So the box is black, the tissue paper black, everything in the box is black. Oh. <laughs> um, the first thing I take out the box, when you order with MAC, um, when you reach MAC Select, um, they go ahead and offer you a free, what is this? A free lip pencil. So it's a patient polished lip pencil. Oh, I picked the color French Kiss because I tend to draw towards those shades. So yeah, don't judge me. I always pick these shades. Um, but yeah, um, I got this for free when I was ordering my order because I guess I hit Max Select. That's cool. Thank you. I love free products. Alright, moving right along. Um, you guys, I've been wanting this product right here, I feel like for over a year for over a year and this is the time check lotion it's that filter in a bottle you know <laughs> but anyways the original price is like 45 dollars and bruh who's gonna pay 45 dollars for a face primer not me because i got it on sale um the sale that i keep talking about is they were offering 25 percent off your whole order so i thought like hey why not purchase all, all these stuff now but anyways instead of paying 45 dollars for the mineralized time check lotion i paid 33 dollars and 75 cents at the time it felt like a good sale so you know i had to swoop this up and i want to see is it really you know is it really worth the money so we'll see we'll see um next thing we're pulling out let's just go ahead and jump right on to this main course of this video you already know that i've been dying well if you don't know now you know i've been dying to try out this foundation it's a next to nothing foundation it's supposed to be a lightweight sheer foundation so i got it in the shade dark plus and yeah i picked up the matching face powder in dark plus this is my first MAC compact face product for MAC, you know, because I already have their MAC blushes, but I never had like a MAC foundation, you know what I mean? So, hey, stepping it up. <laughs> anyway, so that is all what came in the box. Um, as I said before, the lip pencil was for free. The liquid foundation ran me to $23.25. You know, everything was 25% off. And uh the powder was twenty dollars or 25 cents so in total you know i saved some money i don't even want to know how much i saved but everything came up to around you know like 77 <coughs> 77 dollars yeah yeah <laughs> all right you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and try out first the time check lotion product where are you at all right so i'm gonna use two and a half pumps and see if that's enough because you know I got a big face. Right off the bat, it feels moisturizing. Just gonna get a half a pump more for my forehead because it's massive. And I'm just gonna blend that into my hairline. And I'm just putting a little bit more over my problem areas. You know, just for like a extra, please work, I hope you work. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm very nervous to try out this foundation because as you can tell, I do have pigmentation in my cheek area, so I am gonna try to apply an extra layer there. So hopefully, cause I want something lightweight that I could wear like any day, anywhere, any day, like a simple makeup look. That's why I wanted like a lightweight foundation. So we shall see if this is good enough, you know what I mean? All right, so now that my face is primed, moisturized, ready for that foundation i went ahead and used this first it told me to shake it up so you know what i did i shook it i shook it <laughs> anyways i believe i you guys i used a lot of pumps for this i used a lot of pumps for this on this side of the face i used the beauty blender and then on this side i used the brush you know being experimental over here want to let y'all know how to apply it best and you guys if you want a sheer sheer look without too much work 
use the beauty blender but if you have pigmentation that you're trying to cover but yet you still want to use a lightweight foundation use a brush this is my favorite brush ever i use liquid foundation i use powder foundation this is just perfect fall over the face it's perfect so i went ahead and i stippled it in all over my face and i felt like i was getting more bang for my buck uh, on this side I could still see my pigmentation peeking through with the beauty blender it was just the beauty blender was just soaking up my product yeah but anyways the brush just like sat on top of the foundation and like really really you know it did its job it did its job like at first when I started using the beauty blender I'm like what the hell did I buy I don't even see anything on my face like I had to go and get the mirror to look like is there anything on my face like honestly it felt like a moisturizer that I was rubbing into my skin it's supposed to be moisturize your face with this and then put your foundation on top but me i want like a lightweight foundation that i could wear like you know anywhere even though i don't wear makeup outside this house yeah <laughs> anyways i love 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 this foundation if i'm using the brush if i'm using the beauty blender i'm like no like i'm not even putting anything on my face so if you thought the liquid foundation was good wait until you see me put on this powder foundation so before we move on into the powder foundation one big thing about the liquid foundation like once you put it on and it's all over your face it's very sticky it creates this very sticky base so yeah so if you don't like that i'm just letting you know it's very 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 sticky all right so now the the powder foundation i was very excited to jump into because i was trying to set my whole face so the stickiness will go away so as i put it on my face i don't know i felt like i wanted like i applied a few coats before i started realizing like oh okay it's perfecting my face <laughs> it's still like it took away most of the stickiness but my face is still semi sticky and with that being said when i apply like my blush or I apply my highlighter it already still has a semi sticky base so all my other products were like super pigmented all the other products i applied on top of my face especially if it's a powder it just applied way more pigmented than it used to apply before because my face is still sticky still tacky and wants something to stick to I think I said sticky enough but anyways I love the powder foundation and went on at first I had a question is there anything going on to my face is there but when I got a mirror and I got closer up to it, I'm like oh porcelain skin who <laughs> no but honestly it really smoothing out my face none of that and no even though I caked on a lot of that powder foundation because I couldn't tell if it was going on or not all of it feels lightweight like honestly right now i'm surprised i feel like i have a full face of makeup on right now like down to the lashes is lightweight all right we're not talking about the lashes but everything on my face feels very lightweight i could wear this all day all right you guys so let's go ahead and move on to my final review um to start off i did go ahead and put that lippy on it was very creamy it's very moisturizing i can see myself using that every day all day is like match my skin tone on my lips but it just enhances it and moisturize i really like that i'm gonna stick that in my purse because when in doubt i'm gonna go to that color i'm not blown away by the primer because you know becca primer is nothing to be playing with um i'm gonna go ahead and use it more and more to see you know what's going on you know but like right now i'm not blown away by the primer the liquid foundation i love it if you're using a brush foundation i love it so much because it feels lightweight i don't regret purchasing that and the powder foundation is what really tied everything together and what really made my skin look are you even wearing everything tiffany tiffany are you even wearing anything all of it is very shared it could be buildable so yeah like it i like it don't regret it at all all right so thank you so much for watching let me know what you think did you purchase it yourself you know let's go ahead and chat in the comments down below so go ahead and leave a comment if you want and you already subscribe right right you already hit that bell next to the subscribe right yeah i think you did i i, I think you did <laughs> all right i'm gonna see you guys later sorry for the dog barking in the background didn't realize it till now. Y'all don't hear her. Nah.
Alright. <laughs> Love you guys. See you guys later. Bye. Oh, P.S. <laughs> if you like my eye look that I got going on, go ahead and watch. Oh, is it up by now? I think so. Go ahead and watch my Jacqueline unboxing eyeshadow tutorial. Just go watch the last video I uploaded. Go ahead, click it. Comment, like, subscribe. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>